Hi, I'm Yu Sung, and I'm here to talk about various things about the bow today, and its importance is towards our playing as violinists. All right, now here's a bow, and here's the hair on the bow. Now on the bow, there are little things that are lined exactly straight up, and there are these little hairs. If you look at it under a microscope, if you will, they look like little fingers. And what they do is, here's a string, the violin strings. Now these little strings, the hairs latch on, and once they latch on, they kind of move in this direction too. So if you move a bow down, it will do, be doing this. What that does, it makes the string vibrate, which makes the sound of the violin. Now let me demonstrate. Put your violin on, bow, that's how you make your sound because the little hairs are moving. Now, a little, lot of things that beginners fail to recognize is the importance of having a straight bow. And why is it important to have a straight bow? It's because the hairs are lined up straight. If you do not bow correctly, or if you do not bow straight, what happens is the fingers don't have enough time to react, and the fingers also aren't aligned properly enough so that it can't really vibrate properly. So what happens if, if I make it very not straight, this is what happens. Or the other way. Right? And it's also very uncomfortable to play like that. Now, what happens if you play straight is that the little hairs are all in line and all straight, so if you play accordingly, then it'll make a clear sound as it did before. Like so. Now, another important thing is why recognizing that there are little fingers on the violin, on the violin hair, bow hair, is that beginners tend to like to crash down their bow on their violin, and this is the result of what happens. Or it jumps, you don't have a good start, and it just overall sounds unprofessional, right? Now, what you need to do is give the little fingers on the bow hair time to relax on the string so that it can make a clean sound like this. What I do is I put my bow hair down, count one, two, three, move, like so. All right? Now, what I'd like to talk about is the importance of rosin and what exactly rosin is. Rosin is made out of, um, you could say, amber, like a tree on amber that grows out, and it's made out of a lot of other chemicals that make the, um, that actually cakes the little fingers on the violin hair with a sticky substance. Now, these little fingers don't latch on if they don't have rosin because there's nothing to really cause friction. There. Here's an unrosin bow. Let me show you or demonstrate what happens. So if you don't have rosin as it shows, it makes a ghostly like whisper, it's not loud at all, and it's very hard to stay straight. Now, yes, I actually did use the same amount of pressure as my rosin bow when I did this. If you, this is the same amount of pressure. Right, it slides all over the place and does not sound good. If you do rosin it, here's the same amount of pressure. Much louder, much more clear, and it can stay straight. With, of course, the giving technique. Now. Let me talk about the little nuances in the violin that is required if you want to know. I'll talk about in depth about the fingers on the bow hair. All right. Now, these are four strings. This is the E string, this is the A string, this is the D string, this is the G string. As you can see, each of these strings have different amount of thicknesses. And the thicker it is, the harder it is for the little fingers on the bow hair to react. Now on the E string, I could set it on and instantaneously play it like this. All right? A string, a little bit more time because the hairs need a little bit more time to set. D string, a little bit harder to set, so a little bit more time. G string, a little bit harder to set, a little more time. Like that. All right? Now, the reason is... Well, obviously because the strings are thicker and there's more space, more surface area that the hairs need to latch onto. As keep, do, do keep in mind that the hairs are microscopic. So, if you want to make 
your violin playing sounds smooth, with a clear tone and loudly, you would have to follow the steps and respect the fact that the bow hair does have little fingers on them. It's funny saying that, but yes, so that your playing sounds more like instead of like that. Like, yeah, I guess something like that. Or that, or So that's it on bow hairs and bowing. Thank you for watching.